Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila and I'm here to do the mini tarot forecast for the Cancer for April the 25th to May the 1st. So it's going to go from Monday the 25th, 2016 to May the 1st. Um, I'm going to do a five card spread. We'll look at what's going on currently, um, what has happened in the past. A card flew out. Hold on a second. Um, and then the future cards, the two future cards will be what you can expect from for next week. Okay. Um, I'm just going to shuffle, but guys be on the lookout for my 3000 subscriber giveaway. There will be a contest for you guys to enter. So just make sure that you subscribe and you thumbs up this video. So depending on how many thumbs up I get. It's going to make a difference on what the gift is, trust me. So make sure that you are thumbs upping my readings, even if they don't resonate with you. Um, they're not going to resonate for everyone because these are general readings, okay? So we're looking at the, the Cancer. And hold on a second. Okay. All right, so yeah, sometimes... Um, me being a cancer even they they don't resonate with me so you know all right so cancer currently you've got the queen of staff so this is either you or a literal person in your life it's a court card so this is indicative of either a male or a female with very strong fire energy okay this person uh, could be Leo. This person could be Sagittarius. Um, I feel that this stands for you because the wands is all about self-perception and, you know, integrity and knowing yourself. So this is someone that's very sure of themselves and they're very sure of what they're doing and they know what they want. Because believe it or not, there's a lot of people that don't really know what they want. So whoever this person is, whether or not this is you, a partner, or someone that you just met, or maybe even if it's a friend or even a mother or grandmother, you know, that's what I'm seeing as the current energy. So this is a really protective mothering energy. Um, also a very fertile energy. Um, the Queen of Wands is very fertile and um, she's very grounded with nature um, and survival. Now, in the past, you got the judgment card. So, Cancer, just recently you made some sort of decision on a relationship. It was a major decision. And whatever that major decision was has literally changed the course of your life. Now, the card that jumped out of the deck is the Page of Cups. Um, I almost forgot about this card. So, we're going to put him to the side. There's messages coming. Okay, there's love messages coming in the upcoming week for a lot of you cancers. Going back to the judgment card in the past, this shows the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. Okay, so there was a boundary that was reached. Thank you. There was a boundary that was reached. There was a change and it was a transformation. Okay. Um, and so your past what it means is your past is full of good work, but the process of your liberation from those experiences is, is ongoing. You are beginning a new chapter in your life. So it was some, there was something that you cancers needed to be liberated from. There was some sort of bondage, some sort of, um, you know, negative uh, spirit over your love life in the past. And what's crossing the judgment is the three of wands. So this is a really good card. Again, You've got three wands in here. So this is indicative of male energy all over you. Um, and so if you're a male cancer looking at this video, this symbolizes you and your need to procreate and to start something and to create with this person. So cancer, either you or your partner, if you're already involved with someone, I can see in the past because the three of wands comes up. And so the three of wands, this is a very fertile energy. This is laying down seeds for the future. 
And so um, I always see, because in the illustration, it is a pregnant woman. Um, let me read to you guys from the book, Three of Wands, um, Up on a Grassy Hill, an expectant mother patiently awaits the blooming of the three wands. Having committed great energy into the growth of this new life, she reflects on the journey that has brought her to this moment. <clears throat> From afar, the deviant moon nourishes the bud with its silver breath. So this is anxiously, this is you making a concrete decision. There was something set in stone in the past and you are anxiously awaiting for that. So not only that, you're sitting back, you're doing a lot of reflection and you know, you're admiring the progress that you've made. So that's a really good card to get in the past, especially with the Ace of Wands in the future. Um, so next week, I think the theme for the Cancers is going to be new life, new beginnings of life. Okay, so because you got the Ace and again, it's jiving with the Queen of Wands, which is a very fertile woman. The only thing is missing is the king of wands. He did not come up, but the page did. So this is a younger person sending messages. So um, it could be that your significant other could be younger than you. But with the ace of wands, this is a new beginning. This is a new life. This is indicative of a baby boy. So some of you might be conceiving children next week. Or you might just be starting a new path. Um, this is about, but it really is about new beginnings, creation, of course, children, babies, making children is all a part of creation. It's all about birth. So some of you, if you're overdue, some of you cancers, you're going to definitely give birth next week, especially if you're having boys. They're going to be born between April the 25th and, and May the 1st. This is a fire energy, and this is typically male energy. So, again, this is the spark. This is like when I see the Ace of Wands, literally, it's like, you know, when old folks used to say you was, you was a twinkle in your daddy's eye. This is what they're talking about. Okay, with this Ace of Wands, so... Um, and just some advice to get this card in the future to succeed. You must think clearly and plan ahead. There is a void in your life waiting to be filled, and it is your duty to fill it. Prepare for a transformative experience by filling this void with something to positively influence your new beginning. So, again, this the past with you putting all this beautiful energy into these plants and these seeds that are growing... They're going to transform into this Ace of Wands. Now, I will tell you this. Judging by all of the other cards, if I were to pull just these three cards, I would say, oh, this is going to be great for you. But I did do a five-card spread. So what's crossing you in the future is the Seven of Swords. So this is a warning. This is the potential in the situation. So the Seven of Swords, again... Um, is indicative of a plan that is not thought out very well. So this is letting you know you have to have quick perception. Okay, so you want to make sure that you cross your I's and dot your T's and make sure that you are taking all things into consideration. I don't think this is your partner personally, but it could be that some of you cancers might find out about some sort of betrayal. I, however, don't see it that way because of the outer lying cards. The way I see this Seven of Swords and in the Deviant Tarot, because your swords is all about your third eye, how quick you can think, how quick you can pick up on things that could possibly affect your life. Making sure that you're staying diligent and doing things the way you're supposed to. So this is ill-conceived plan. So... In the illustration of this card, the Harlequin attempts to swallow his swords in a dramatic display of skill, yet his plan is flawed. The rope which binds the blades is frayed and will soon break, leaving him in a tragic predicament, and the sword is literally going to stab him in the throat. So this is an ill-conceived plan. This is a path 
to failure or a poor attempt at something. I don't see this as being any outcome for you because your future card is the Ace of Wands. But this is this is a warning <clears throat> in the situation. <clears throat> um, the Seven of Swords could also be indicative of some sort of conflict. Um, and this could mean that some of you Cancers um, might be going through some things in your current relationship. Okay? Um, if you are single... You need to make sure that any prospects in your life are going to be more engaged with you, is what you want to make sure. But if you're already in a committed relationship, this is about trust. Okay? So trust, trust, trust. You and your partner have to have trust. Okay? So this card can be taken in a lot of different ways and it can mean a lot of different things. You might be a cancer that doesn't have trust issues in your relationship it might be it might be that you don't trust yourself it might be that the trust issues might come up within yourself okay so trust is a very difficult thing if you can overcome if you can overcome the trust issues Be careful with this page of cups. This is a person younger than you, someone very emotional that might lie to you and make you not trust your partner, which is going to throw off the balance. So this is kind of up in the air. So the, I, I can see this coming up for you. <laughs> and if it's a person that you know is typically up to no good, then don't talk to that person. This person is really trying to mess with your perception. But it could be that some of you cancers are not going to plan very well. Maybe you're leaving yourself wide open to be attacked by this, you know, person or this energy. <laughs> the Page of Cups to me doesn't really bring a lot of negative energy. <coughs> but I think the whole emotion behind the message is what's going to uh, mess with the trust. So you just have to make it a point to talk about it. Stop avoiding the subject. Don't be passive aggressive. Be very clear. Seven of Swords come up. Clear message that trust is crucial. It is either you not trusting or your partner not trusting you. And you're going to deal with it next week. Um, I do see you overcoming it. But you guys just got to wait for the next week. Um, which will be from May the 2nd until the 8th. So we'll see how this plays out for the Cancers, all right? Make sure you sub and make sure that you be on the lookout, you guys, for um, the 3,000 subscriber giveaway. And make sure that you thumbs up this video, all right? See you guys later. Bye.